Iologs, a small company based in Russia that pretty much nobody knows about. So can they make a good product? Well, the answer is actually way beyond yes. This is the Iolog sequential shifter on the left and their handbrake on the right. They both retail for $165 each and around $40 shipping to the US. Putting it right up there with the Husingvelt sequential shifter and their handbrake. Now I must say it straight up, the Iolog's products are very, very good. The shifter is nice and strong with a good click and the handbrake has enough force to make you pull it while not too light to make it a toy. The action of the shifter is very clicky, short, and progressively gets lighter as you pull it so it feels very realistic. All of this put together makes it feel very good and I might even argue better than the Husing Filt products. Now moving on to the handbrake, which feels very analog and very stiff, enough to feel good for any preference, not too stiff or too light. It also has two modes, a switch mode and an analog mode, meaning you can use this with any game that's on the market today, whether it supports an analog handbrake or simply a button, which is a very good idea that I haven't seen any other handbrake include. Both products are about the same size, measuring at 7 inches top to bottom for the shifter and 9 inches top to bottom for the handbrake, and both of them are 2.5 inches wide and 4.5 inches long. Both products also include a 1.5 meter USB cable, a table clamp, a hard mount T-slot, I guess you could say adapter, and rubber gaskets that you can put around it to help keep it gripped to the surface. I suppose this would be for if you're using the table clamp. So overall, both products are very good to go with build quality, feel, looks, and mounting being very, very user friendly and very, very nice. Now, the software that comes to you through email is very light on your system and simple to use, which is very nice to see. Simply install the drivers and plug in the hardware and you're ready to race. This is also where you can change the color of your LEDs, and I must say it's all very, very simple, which I really like. Overall, I can easily recommend these products to anyone looking for a dedicated or more realistic sequential shifter or handbrake. The quality of these products are just really good. Once you pick them up, you can just feel how quality it is. And I also really like the glass it lets you see how everything is put together. And really, it's totally worth the $165 price point, especially since it's lower than the Husingfeld shifter, and I'd say it's better built. So thanks for watching my review. If you have any questions, leave that down below, and I'll be sure to answer them as fast as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.